The Color Purple Alice Walker, a Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award-winning novel that broke the silence around domestic and sexual abuse, a powerful and moving story of two African-American women in early 20th-century rural Georgia, adapted into a successful film and musical, a book that has been praised for its strong female characters, its realistic portrayal of racism and sexism, and its message of hope and redemption, a book that has been enjoyed by readers of all ages and backgrounds. Chapter 1, Seeley's Voice Finds Paper, Letter 1 to 10. In the opening chapters, we are introduced to Seely, a young girl whose voice finds solace and release in writing letters to God. In these heartfelt letters, Seely unveils the hardships and cruelty she endures, including her father's sexual abuse and her subsequent forced marriage to an abusive man known as Mr. Seely's letters reveal the depths of her vulnerability, her longing for love and connection, and her unwavering faith in the power of writing as a means of catharsis. Chapter 2, The Arrival of Shug Avery Letter 11-21 Seeley's life takes a momentous turn with the arrival of Shug Avery, a charismatic and independent blues singer. Shug becomes a beacon of light for Seeley, challenging her to question the oppressive beliefs and societal norms that have defined her existence. Shug's unapologetic self-love and acceptance inspire Seeley to confront her own worth and desires, igniting a spark of self-discovery within her. Through their evolving friendship, Seeley learns to embrace her own beauty, sexuality, and personal power. Chapter 3, Nettie's Journey and Rediscovering Identity, Letter 22-40 While Seeley's narrative unfolds, we are also introduced to her sister, Nettie, who embarks on a missionary journey to Africa. Nettie's letters provide a contrasting perspective, as she shares her encounters with different cultures, her relationships with the Olinka tribe, and her fight against racism and colonialism. Through Nettie's narratives, the novel explores broader social issues, shedding light on the struggles and resilience of African women and the interconnectedness of their experiences. Nettie's letters serve as a testament to the strength and determination required to reclaim one's identity in the face of adversity. Chapter 4, Transformation and Liberation, Letter 41-59 As the story progresses, Seeley undergoes a profound transformation, shedding the shackles of oppression and reclaiming her voice. She starts her own business, sewing and designing pants, which not only provides financial independence but also becomes a symbol of her newfound autonomy. Through her interactions with strong female characters like Sophia and Squeak, Seely discovers the power of female solidarity and collective support in challenging patriarchal norms. These chapters delve into the themes of self-empowerment, courage, and the reclamation of one's identity as Seely learns to break free from the limitations society has imposed upon her. Chapter 5, Reconciliation and Healing, Letter 60-75 in the final chapters, Celie's journey of self-acceptance and healing reaches a climactic point. She is reunited with her long-lost sister, Nettie, who brings with her letters that reveal the truth about Celie's painful past and the fate of their children. Through forgiveness and understanding, the wounds of the past begin to heal, and the power of love triumphs over the scars of abuse and injustice. The novel ends with a sense of hope and renewal as Celie, Nettie, and the women in their lives embrace their newfound freedom, dignity, and the possibility of creating a brighter future. Highlights Seeley's letters provide an intimate and raw account of her experiences, allowing readers to immerse themselves in her emotional journey and deeply empathize with her struggles and celebrate her triumphs. The arrival of Shug Avery introduces Seeley to a world of self-discovery, sexuality, and personal liberation, challenging societal norms and inspiring Seeley's transformation into a resilient and self-assured woman. Nettie's letters offer a broader perspective on social issues such as racism, colonialism, and gender inequality, shedding light on the shared struggles of African women and the need for collective empowerment. Seeley's transformation showcases the importance of self-empowerment, female solidarity, and the reclamation of one's identity in the face of oppression, inspiring readers to reflect on their own capacity for growth and change. The novel explores profound themes of forgiveness, redemption, and the healing power of love, emphasizing the resilience of the human spirit and the potential for personal and societal transformation. 
Conclusion The Color Purple is an evocative and transformative novel that delves into the depths of the human experience, revealing the strength, resilience, and capacity for growth that lie within us all. Through Seeley's emotional and introspective journey, readers are invited to contemplate the complexities of human relationships, the importance of self-expression, and the enduring power of hope in the face of adversity. Alice Walker's masterful storytelling weaves a tapestry of emotion, truth, and redemption, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of readers long after the final page is turned.